Hi there truck trailer and ATV owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at e-trailers, ATV, UTV winch. These are great for not just your ATVs and UTVs though, they're also good for your trailers and your trucks. This winch is rated for 5,000 pounds, so it's going to be more than enough for any of your ATVs and UTVs out there. And 5,000 pounds, you could even use it, again, if you had it on a truck or a trailer, you could use it with a trailer. If it's a car hauler, this is something that I would put on mine at home for pulling a car onto my trailer. And it's also great for trucks, even though it's 5,000 pounds, you're not lifting it off the ground, you're pulling it across, usually on slicker surfaces like mud, so you should be able to pull out some of your smaller Jeeps and stuff like that with this as well. It has a synthetic rope, which is never going to rust or corrode. You don't have to worry about steel cables either, which can often fray and leave sharp edges, which could transfer over to your hand and leave you with some pretty gnarly cuts. So we don't have to worry about that with these. The fair lead that comes included with it does have a nice, smooth, and rolled finish to it. This is ideal for your synthetic ropes, so that way it can easily roll right across there without causing any damage to the rope, causing any abrasions on it. For steel cable winches, you often see that they have rollers on them. You don't want to use a roller fair lead with synthetic cable because it could potentially get down in between the rollers and start to rip up your synthetic cable. Those rollers are designed specifically for the steel cables. So if you are going to swap that out with something that maybe you already got, you don't want to do that with a synthetic one. A bracket does come included with each trailer's winch here. However, that bracket really is mainly designed for mounting it onto a trailer. If you're planning on mounting this on an ATV or UTV, I would look around our website. We've got plenty of custom brackets available that are for your specific ATV and UTV. We're working on a Kawasaki Mule. Here's what we're looking at today. And this bracket is from Bulldog and is custom for this one. You can see our winch from each trailer here bolted up to it very nicely. Our hook here is held on by a 5 16 clevis pin and it keeps it nice and strong. It's gonna be able to withstand the 5,000 pound towing. And you also do get a small lead here, which is nice for pulling it out when you're ready to use it. Because if it's cold out, this could be awfully cold. And then who knows, you know, it could have uh, a bunch of dirt and other debris on it. The rope seems to clean off a lot better and it's easier on your hand to grab that. So I was cruising around in our four wheeler here and it died on me right here in the muck. I don't really feel like getting on the other side here and trying to push this thing back over to the shop so I can figure out what's going on with it. So let's grab our winch and let's use that to get it out of the mess and then we can get it over there. We're gonna start getting our four wheeler out by coming over here to the side. We can loosen up the wheel here and that'll put it in free spool mode. This allows us to easily grab the lead here and pull it out. It's gonna be much faster doing this than using the out button that is for the powered section of your winch. We can just grab it and head on over. So you want to find a secure place to hook it onto. A lot of times you could find a spot like on the frame or something. We're going to be hooking right here to the hitch though. Now, if you are pulling this out and you got some company with you, I'd recommend to stay on the vehicle that you're pulling out. They could drive it in that direction and help steer it to help get it out if it's really stuck. We're working by ourselves though, and we got it stuck ourselves, so we're going to get out ourselves. We're going to drop it down into neutral so that way the wheels will roll. It'll be better on the transmission and the components in our four-wheeler while we're pulling it out. I do also want to recommend that if you are pulling this out by yourself, pay attention to your geography. You don't want to put this in neutral and have your vehicle with the winch on it downhill and then start to get it unstuck and then all of a sudden it starts to roll. So make sure you place yourself in an appropriate situation where you're pulling it maybe uphill or where it's not going to roll at you. Included with our winch, we are going to receive a switched remote here. You can see it has our in and our out and it has plenty of cable length. And I do like that it has the all this cable length so we can get this out of here. This isn't really that useful for what we're doing at the moment here, but if your UTV or ATV happened to have gotten stuck, you could be on the side here kind of watching the path while pulling it out. So I do like that it gives you a little bit of flexibility to be able to kind of get around the sides and look at what you're doing while you're getting unstuck. We're all hooked up here, but before we operate it, we need to come back to the side and put it back into the lock position. And you'll also need to make sure that you have your vehicle that your winch is attached to in park. And I also recommend pulling the parking brake. Well, I'll pull our four-wheeler out. So now that we've got it pulled out of the mess enough to where we can hop in it and easily push this thing out of here, we're not in the muck anymore. Let me go ahead and put it back into gear there so that way it can't roll away from me and we can get our winch disconnected. And this winch does have a mechanical brake inside that holds when you're not operating the winch, as long as you have it locked in there. 
This is going to ensure that, you know, once we pull it, if we were pulling it, if we're uphill and it's downhill, this is going to keep it from rolling back out on us. It's going to hold it in place at whatever position we've had it set at last. And now when you're ready to unhook it, you want to give it a little bit of slack so we can get it disconnected. Whenever using the motor to release the cable out, you do want to kind of pull on the cable as well because it could bind up inside of there. So that's why I was just putting a little bit of pressure on it there just so that way it is pulling out without loosening up and potentially causing a bind. The motor on this winch is a one and a half horsepower permanent magnet motor, which operates fast and strong. The casing is water resistant to IP66 specifications, and it uses a single stage planetary gear train, which provides increased drum speed when compared to traditional worm drives. And you can see that here as it's pulling it in, it's faster than a lot of the older models. It draws up to 30 amps of power and has a gear ratio of 166 to one. And that completes our look at E-Trailer's ATV UTV winch.